What's up everyone, welcome back. It's been an exciting time for the Android emulation scene because Eden Emulator has officially released version 0.0.3. This update brings a lot of improvements. Smoother gameplay performance, faster loading with driver fetch, and a cleaner game gallery for easier navigation. Several bug fixes were also made, along with major stability boosts, making Eden more reliable than ever. And of course, we'll be checking out some of the latest playable game tests, from big titles to fan favorites, to see just how much Eden has leveled up. So stick around, because you won't want to miss this lineup. First on our playable test list is Hollow Knight, Silk Song. Running on Eden Emulator 0.0.3, the game actually delivers a surprisingly smooth experience for Android users. The platforming feels responsive, and the fast-paced combat remains intact, which is very important for this kind of action game. In terms of visuals, the game looks stunning, colors are vibrant, and animations carry that same polish you'd expect from Team Cherry. There are a few noticeable frame drops during heavy fights or when too many enemies are on screen, but overall, it still feels playable. Some testers also reported minor graphical glitches, like textures flickering or shadows not loading correctly, though these don't break the gameplay. For fans who love the original Hollow Knight, Silk Song on Eden is already shaping up to be a nostalgic yet refreshing experience. It's not flawless yet, but with Eden's updates, we can expect even more improvements in the next versions. Definitely one of the most exciting games to try on Eden Emulator right now. Up next is Dragon Quest III HD 2D Remake, a legendary RPG brought back to life with the gorgeous HD 2D art style. This remake perfectly blends nostalgia with modern visuals, keeping the charm of the original while giving us vibrant environments and beautifully animated battles. Running on Eden Emulator V.0.3, the game boots successfully and plays surprisingly well. Performance is stable for the most part, though you may notice some stutters during transitions and a few frame drops in more crowded areas or intense combat. There are also occasional minor graphical glitches, but nothing game-breaking that would stop you from enjoying the story and gameplay. Overall, this remake feels fresh yet faithful, and Eden makes it possible to experience it on mobile in a smooth and enjoyable way. If you're into classic RPG adventures, this is one you don't want to miss trying on Eden Emulator. Here we have Harvest Moon, The Winds of Anthos, the latest entry in the beloved farming and life sim franchise. This game takes us back to the roots of what made Harvest Moon special, while expanding with new mechanics, fresh visuals, and a heartwarming story about rebuilding communities. On Eden Emulator V0210.3, the game boots fine and is very much playable. Performance is quite stable, with smooth farming, exploring, and character interactions. However, there are a few minor graphical hiccups, especially with shadows and lighting, but they don't affect the overall gameplay experience. Fans of farming sims will appreciate the mix of nostalgia and innovation this game brings. Thanks to Eden Emulator, The Winds of Anthos runs well enough to let you enjoy the cozy vibe and addictive farming life right on your mobile. Digimon Survive blends classic turn-based tactical battles with a visual novel-style story full of choices that shape your journey. The game captures a darker and more mature tone compared to past Digimon titles, focusing on survival, friendship, and tough decisions. Running on Eden Emulator V0.0.3, the game is surprisingly stable and playable. Cutscenes and dialogues flow smoothly, while battles handle decently well, though occasional frame dips and minor text glitches can appear. Despite these small issues, the emotional storytelling and strategic combat remain fully intact, making it a great experience for Digimon fans who want both nostalgia and something fresh. Thanks to Eden Emulator, you can now enjoy Digimon Survive anytime, anywhere on your Android device. Digimon World Next Order brings back the classic pet-raising RPG formula where you train, feed, and bond with your Digimon partners while exploring an open world full of challenges. Unlike the usual turn-based style, 
This game lets you guide your Digimon in semi-real-time battles, giving orders while they act independently. On Eden Emulator V0.0.3, performance is impressive, exploration runs smoothly, and most battles feel stable. However, some users may notice occasional lag or audio sync issues, especially during busy fight sequences. Even with these minor hiccups, the joy of raising two Digimon at once, evolving them, and taking on big enemies makes this a rewarding and nostalgic experience. Thanks to Eden Emulator, Next Order becomes portable and more accessible than ever. Octopath Traveler is a stunning JRPG from Square Enix that stands out with its unique HD2D art style, a mix of retro pixel characters and modern lighting effects. The game follows eight distinct heroes, each with their own story, abilities, and paths to explore, giving players a ton of replay value. On Eden Emulator V0.3, the visuals look sharp and vibrant, perfectly capturing that nostalgic yet modern style. Performance is solid, though some minor stutters can appear in busy towns or during certain cutscenes. Still, the turn-based battles run smoothly, and the music shines through beautifully. With its deep storylines, strategic combat, and gorgeous presentation, Octopath Traveler feels right at home on Eden, making it one of the must-try JRPGs for emulator fans. Flame, protect us! And with Octopath Traveler 2, we come to the final stop of today's lineup. This masterpiece is more than just a sequel. It's an evolution of the HD2D style that blends modern visuals with the charm of the classics. Eight new heroes, each with their own journey, come together in a way that feels both fresh and nostalgic, reminding us of the golden era of JRPGs we grew up with. On Eden Emulator V0.0.3, the experience is surprisingly smooth, battles run clean, exploration is immersive, and even though there are small performance dips, the essence of the adventure shines through. Playing it here doesn't just feel like testing an emulator, it feels like revisiting a part of gaming history while seeing how far it has come. So that's it for today's game tests. Thank you for joining me once again, my friends. Let's keep discovering, testing, and celebrating the games that shaped us, old and new, here on Eden. More adventures await, and I'll see you in the next one.